All right, just when I think I'm done with the stereo system, something comes about. So you already know I have the Hyanka uh, four ohm, 15 inch sub, right? Sounds absolutely amazing. Uh, great entry level budget sub. Um, sounds phenomenal. Zero wrong with this sub. Um, sounds way better than 212s I had in here, a lot crisp, crisper, it hits harder. Um, zero issues with this sub. And I've got a 5,000 watt amp that I know running at one ohm, I tested it and got it to 5,700 watts, right? So with this being a four ohm, um, max wattage is 2,000 and, and at two ohm, it's 2,400 watts, right? But again, nothing to discount, the sub is awesome. But check this out. I haven't seen any reviews. Um, this isn't even listed on Hayanka's webpage yet. But are they starting to get into the competition subs? I don't know. We're going to find out. This is also, this is the BSP 15 uh, car sub. This is at 2 ohms. Max watt is 3,200. 4 ohms, 3,000 watts. Um, when I reviewed the... 15 a couple things that that were kind of disheartening on the 15 which was it had the same two and a half inch coil that their 12s run same magnet um so basically what you were just getting is a bigger space to push sound which is what made it louder but the internal components were about the same so super excited to get this bad boy unboxed um let's check it out all right again 15 inch uh, i think they call this Forks Knox, Fort Knox series, um, F O R N A X. But let me get this un, un, unboxed and unpackaged. But you can see it's got the raised bevel um, on the foam rail. This actually runs with a three inch uh, Voss coil in there, so it is bigger than their their standard fifteen inch. Um, this is a dual voice coil as well. So I'm going to get this unboxed. Get this unwrapped. I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to do some side by side comparisons. All right, I don't know if you consider a, a, a sub gorgeous or appealing to look at or whatever, but first impression, and this thing is clean. Um, I've already noticed a couple huge differences between this and their standard um, 15 inch. So let me get this out and uh, keep going. It does come with your owner's manual and then you've got your insulation foam which even though i got a carpeted box i still do run that on the bottom rim of my sub before i screw it in just i've got it why not right let's get him out one thing i'm going to point out is this is their normal 15 both sitting on a level surface this is the new one so you can see it is quite a bit deeper all right um let's see if i can zoom out here so i can get a better better view of this all right, a couple things to point out. This kind of has the standard um, basket, you know, for the 15 inch. Um, it's kind of used on different different uh, labels all across. This one more updated, um, a lot firmer. Um, I did not weigh the new one, but the difference in magnet is is pretty substantial too. Um, I know this one's like 20, 20 pounds or so. I'm going to say this one's pushing 27 to 30, just based off of the difference in weight on these two. So quite a bit bigger magnet um, on the new sub. And again, three inch voice coil, two and a half inch. So this basic setup here on the voice coil, magnet, um, webbing, all that stuff is their same, is the same on their 12s, which got one over there. Um, but for this one, um, they've totally revamped it. Um, I'd like to think that was because of my suggestion, but I doubt it. Um, of course this still does have the spider webbing and the, you know, sewn in tinsel for the leads on the new one. Again, you have the sewn in, uh, spider webbing and the tinsel leads. Let me see if I can get to them. You have a double, uh, sewn in tension leads for each, uh, each port. So that's a pretty big improvement. Um, all in all, first first impressions, this thing looks 
pretty amazing. So pretty much uh, all the feedback I'd given Hayanka, um, they've started addressing all that. Not that they were ever a bad sub, but but just to keep evolving, they keep coming out with great products. Uh, I have Hayanka all through this this uh, Cherokee here, and in the uh, in the wife's Jeep. The only thing that that I would have liked a little bit different is we still have the same size leads um, as on their other 15 and on their 12. Um, theoretically, they're fine, but with this being a dual voice coil, uh, you know, I've got to run three sets of wires in one of these so I can loop it over and then get power to it to, to, to break it down. But um, like I said, this is a two, two ohm, so I'm going to bridge it down uh, and make it one ohm. Whereas this was a four ohm, which I took it down to two. So yes, this one's automatically going to be louder, but um, should still have a huge noticeable difference because um, this would not handle um, the amp at full max. So I'm going to turn these on the side and take another look. All right, these things are too heavy to just sit up on their own, but before I prop them up, just want to show you the difference in magnet size. Um, so pretty big difference. Again, the baskets, uh, the new one over here on the left, their original over here on the right. All right, again, this is their uh, standard 15. Like I said, it is a four ohm, so max 2000 watt. I move over to the, the new big boy. Uh, this is the BSP 15 two ohm, 3200 watt max. BSF 15 four ohm. Now, not discrediting the BSF line, um, they're absolutely phenomenal, great. Um, but this is new and uh, they're definitely stepping up their game. There's probably about $100 difference um, between these two. And I'll post a link to both of them on the, in the description, but uh, I'm gonna bridge this thing down, get it in, and then uh, see if we can tell the difference. All right, so what I've done is, is run the two voice coils together to get it from two ohm to one ohm. So you got red, that's gonna go over to red, black, that's gonna go over to black. Then I'll take my speaker lead, hook positive to positive, negative to negative. And then now we essentially have a one ohm impedance. You can check this with a meter if you need to. Um, it's not really necessary for me. Um, my amp will hold um, whatever stability ohm I wanna put on it from one and up. So we're gonna run it this way. Um, but this guy is absolutely massive. All right, got it all wired up. Uh, bridged it down to one ohm. Got it hooked to the amp. Secured back down. Now we're going to uh, turn it on, make sure we're good to go. And then we'll look at adjusting gains. All right, so far, this thing is amazing. Uh, still got to go through, do some adjustments on the gains, the frequencies, what have you. I'm going to have to compensate um, for not enough airspace in the box. So I'll adjust it that way with subsonic and all that good stuff. But uh, as far as what I can tell, this thing is freaking amazing. Uh, I believe this is going to handle more than what my amp's going to push. Um, honestly, because the amp was clipping out. So I got to. I got to make some adjustments on there to get it squared away. But, man, Hayanka's making the push. Uh, definitely check them out. Um, Sturdy construction. Moves great. Still stiff. Uh, obviously, it hasn't been in the break-in period yet. But I'm super, super impressed with this sub. So, definitely check them out. Um, check the, uh, the description for the link. Uh, I'll put, like I said, both 15s on here. 
Um, and man, this thing's awesome. I'm gonna get it adjusted, take it for a spin. Thanks for watching. All right, I uh, whew, closed the hatch on this thing, sat inside, turned it up a little bit, louder than I'll probably ever listen to it, but sounds absolutely amazing. Crystal clear, deep bass, uh, but loud as hell. Definitely check them out, Hayanka.